Hey y'all, it's Morgan. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a haul from Texas Antiques Week and like some estate sales and then like one thrifting item. If you don't know what Texas Antiques Week is, it is a like antique festival. It happens two times a year in Warrington, Texas and in Round, Round Top, Texas. We went at the end of September. Basically what Texas Antiques Week is, it's an outdoor thing. It's a bunch of fields and different like people and like different shops and boutiques and stuff like that can set up like tents or like there's little houses over there that they like set up their business in we go we shop we drink we have a real good time this time around i didn't really buy that much stuff usually whenever i go i have like specific things on my list that i'm looking for i didn't really have anything on my list to look for it was, i was just kind of like shopping enjoying the time with my family and hanging out and stuff like that but i did pick up a few things none of it's like really antique stuff or like junk like my other video i had like a lot of good stuff in that video so i'll link that video down below if you want to check it out we're just going to go ahead and get started so the first thing i got i got from a little shop called yippee kaye the lady there was really nice it's just this t-shirt it says texas on it with like a little girl looks vintage -y. and it says a lone star today i usually get a t-shirt every time i go there just because i mean i love wearing t-shirts and i just like this one because it says texas it's red and yellow and it's just really cute and it's comfy and it's soft i love comfy clothes so i'm excited about that and i got two things from the same boutique it was called lucille may market and it was so stinking cute she had like a trailer and it was like turquoise and the inside was like her little boutique the inside of a trailer but it was all like gutted and like made to look like a little like boutique shop they have an instagram so i'll link the instagram below first thing i got was this baseball hat with a little leather texas patch and it's just like a nice like gray it's by oliver and otis I really like it. It's like really soft and it has like that worn in look. And it has this little leather like detail on the back with a little dog gold clasp. I've been really into baseball caps lately so I had to get that. And the next thing I got is a little makeup pouch. It has an M on it and it's by John Hart Designs. I'm sure you've heard of it. I've been needing a new makeup pouch and I just thought this one was really cute. They had different colors but I just for some reason I just like this brown color. It was just speaking to me so I really like it. Like the outside is like that canvas so like if it gets dirty I can wipe it. I don't usually carry like makeup with me every day but I'll carry like hand sanitizer and like a hair tie just essentials like maybe a powder the lipstick that i'm wearing for the day i don't know just stuff like that and i just wanted something small that was like cuter than the one that i have something that is like more durable something that's more classic and that will last a long time so they're handmade in san antonio texas which is really cool i've been really into goodwill shopping and like thrifting for clothes and stuff like that this is just a denim jacket i got from goodwill it's like so soft already and it's from the Gap and it's a size medium. I really like it. I've been on the hunt for another denim jacket. I want like a really large oversized one like large and baggy. I haven't been able to find one but I'm really glad that I have this one and it was like five dollars and it's like a good brand you know it's not like some like weird brand that is like you know not real denim like stretchy weird okay so the next thing are are from like estate sales all of it's christmas because i feel like sometimes it can be overwhelming to shop for christmas like decor when it's so close to christmas you know i like to i'm more of the type of person that likes to gather things throughout the year and then have it all you know like that's how i like to add to my collection it's just gathering things over time all this stuff is stuff that my aunt picked out for me but i mean we like the same types of stuff so you know she knows what i like so this is the first thing that she got it's like this really heavy santa i don't know what he's made out of but he's really heavy and he's just it's just vintage all this stuff is vintage obviously it's from an estate so this might be crazy to some of you but i like to have like different themes in my house like my living room is all like neutral so my tree in there is like neutral and jason's office he has like i let him pick he has like a texas themed tree and then in the kitchen i have like all santa type of trees so this is probably gonna go in 
my kitchen slash breakfast area. The next thing is this little Santa mug. It's plastic. I have a collection of Santa mugs. One's a little one. It has a winking face. I love the ones that have winking faces and it's plastic so it can't break. So my next one, <laughs> you guys look how cute these are. They're so cute and vintage. In my guest room, I have like a blue and red, turquoise blue. I really think this would go really good in there. I, I might change, like wrap a little turquoise blue ribbon around Miss Claus because this is green, but I think it would look really cute and it would go really good in that, in my guest room if I changed out this. And it's just gonna look so cute. Like the details are just so cute on it. Miss Claus has little gold glasses. I just can't, you know? I just can't. If this isn't cute, then I just don't know what is. The person like didn't even open these up. It says, set up to Santa's workshop, Mount Vernon, New York. And then it says, for Lillian Vernon. They're just really cute little, like, ornaments, like, kind of soft, like, fabric with, like, gold detailing. And the Santa's face is really cute. He's holding a little doll. It's just really cute. I mean, I don't know how many times I have to say that. It's vintage and I love it. So I got two of those, so I'll probably put one in my Santa, on my Santa tree, and I'll put one on... Jason's tree. This is also something that I found while I was estate sale shopping. It looks dirty, but it's not. I promise. We cleaned it. It is a milk jug, glass milk jug jar. I don't know. I really wanted a bigger one, but I saw this one. I was like, okay, I'm just gonna get it because I wanted to put like our coins in it. I'm like in the process of redoing our master bedroom, or not redoing because we never did it. But I'm in the process of doing our master bedroom and Jason has like a tall chest thing. I thought this would look cute on his chest so we can put so we can put our coins in it. I got it and guess what? The quarter don't fit in it. But all the other coins do. So this will work now for now. It's a half a gallon. So yeah, that's the last thing. So that's going to be it for this small haul. It's very small, but these are like the types of videos I like to watch. Like I like to watch like thrifting hauls and like antique type hauls. That I feel like there's not that many on YouTube, but I just wanted to do them. So maybe like more people will start doing them. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just, this is what I like to watch. So like obviously I'm gonna film stuff that I like to, to watch, you know? Give this video a thumbs up if you like vintage things and like thrifting and stuff like that. And don't forget to subscribe so y'all can see whenever I have a new video out. I would love to have y'all here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you want to get in touch with me, you can hit me up on Instagram and Twitter. It's Morgan Laurel on Instagram and Twitter. Thanks for watching and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye. <laughs> Why are y'all so quiet now? <laughs>